NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Working from the gun, Mahomes steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. But sometimes the defense just beats you. Great coverage from the secondary. All of them in the proper position. So instead of trying to throw it to tight coverage, he found a way to throw it away and come back and try again the next down. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. From their own 40 to the other 40, the gain of 20 leads to first and 10. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They run once more with McKenna. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. On first down now, run with McKenna. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. 43, 43. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Throwing is Mahomes on third. A solid stiff arm. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes fighting me, Cole Hardman. And the Chiefs have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing deep. Yo, you're acting like a real bitch, bro. What is wrong with you? You're doing everything that's bitch shit. And create a little havoc. And the Bills are going to recover. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try to work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game. And maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage. And they tried. They just didn't get it done. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are an extra point away from capturing the lead. And now it's blocked. Oh, you a clown for real, cuz. You a clown for real, cuz. You a clown for real. The extra point attempt unsuccessful. Well, there's a blocked extra point. I remember playing, and we had one of those go against us. I remember our kicker and our holder told the head coach, just relax, coach. Why are you yelling? Don't worry, that's just one point. Oh, my. Those coaches see a point is gold to them because you never know how it's going to turn out later. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was just going to say first quarter. We'll see if this has any implications as the game goes on. I still can't believe they told the head coach to relax. <laughs> Whoa. Bad move. 
Not much leg here. Fields this at the 24-yard line. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments, prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Toney. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 28. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Right back to Toney. He's got another one. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. After one, a one-point game, seven to six. now to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's at the 40. 20. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings us one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run with Cook. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. On second and goal, Allen. And that one going to come up short, low throw. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. To the air, Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone. The kick by Bass is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points in the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustain. And he fires one that's intercepted. 
Jair Elam makes a pick, and the Bills are going to take possession as they got it at the 42-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection, and now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. And they run the option on second down. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing is Allen on third. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. They'll try the middle with Cook. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football play. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second and a couple. Allen looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. Touchdown! Isaiah McKenzie from 21 yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. And oh, it's blocked. That's a live ball scooped up. You're by a bum. Defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Right, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Second down, McKinnon. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three.